this really couldn't have happened at a worse time. And honestly, it's the principle of the thing. What kind of man just does this, just steals money from good, hardworking executives like myself? I put food on the tables of so many lunar citizens just by waking up in the morning. And this criminal has the audacity to steal even one new cent from me. I don't think so, Buster. I'm going to kick his ass. Okay, yeah. And you're going to kick his ass too. Yeah, I mean, we're we're kind of stuck together, so... And you dying means me dying, so... And if I kill him, you're going to help me bury the body. And you two kind of, like, frowns and just goes, well, maybe one of me can help. No. Okay, Th that's good enough. It's good enough. First, we have to deal with Lilith. That's going to require your bodyguard skills, so... Who's who's Lilith? I guess I should be... And, like, YouTube pulls out his Moby and starts, like, typing in notes. He's like, okay, uh, who's Lilith? That would be wife number three. I was supposed to meet her earlier, and that obviously couldn't happen. And YouTube kind of stops and just goes, how many wives do you have? Four. Yep, okay, that's what I thought. And he starts, and he, and on his Moby and, like, the notepad, it just, there's a one, two, three, four, and three has, like, a dash and just says Lilith. Yeah, good, write that down. Yeah, okay, so she's the most violent one. Oh, great. And you were supposed to meet her and didn't? Mm-hmm, correct. Great. Okay. Does that mean she's going to come up here? Or what should I expect to have happen at this point? Well, normally the staff would have warned me by now if she was. So I suspect that she's probably lying in wait to ambush me. Great. Okay. So mystery assailant, wife number three. Got it. Great. I'm glad I can already tell we're on the same page. This is almost like having my clones again. Speaking of which, uh, did your little bunny do anything that could maybe save my life? Uh, yeah, actually. Yeah, turn down for what? Actually, if you bring him out real quick, he makes a, a rhythm. As long as you stay on beat, he hits harder than normal. And if you happen to knock somebody out or I guess kill him, I've never actually killed anybody with him. You can gain kind of control over the area anybody who can hear the music it changes the tempo and everything and the i guess the general vibe of the room oh neat okay so i mean i'm not much of a music man uh, i do know how to play the harmonica oh that's okay yeah spot it oh and the, and the recorder you know everybody learns that in school yeah but other than that hmm, not much of a percussion guy that should be weird he just kind of summons out your rabbit and starts snapping his fingers. He is kind of off rhythm. Like there's a little, like he kind of winces a little, like seeing him off rhythm. And he's just like, yeah, just as long as you stay on beat, he'll help you out. Okay. I hmm don't seem to be getting it, but that doesn't matter. It kicks, right? Hard or something? Yeah. I mean, it, it uses the, like the bass drop in the song to boost itself Wait. around bass drop yeah you know in a song whenever it builds up um in a lot of like techno and like house music it, there's usually a build up and then there's a drop before the bass comes in heavier how heavy is the bass drop i mean pretty hard i snapped a wolf in half with it well it wasn't a real wolf it was one of the the hounds of of love i don't know what you're talking about oh wait yeah i do and he goes yeah it was a it was a whole thing okay so the bass comes out of its feet is that right yeah and okay yeah you two just kind of picks him up like scoops him up by like you know his front paws and just goes yeah his little uh where his paw pads would be it's speakers so it plays out of those also you can echo locate using it uh, you don't have to summon him to do that it just kind of it pulses out of your feet okay uh do me a favor don't touch that because that's weird i can feel that oh sorry and he lets turn down for what go and he goes yeah i'm sorry i'm not used to not me being in control of him it's fine understandable there is a sound from somewhere in the basement Ratch! okay we gotta go we're gonna what go was that, was that don't was worry that about it no, don't worry about what? it okay but i can't be your bodyguard and not know what's coming after you that part feels... one okay i'm gonna give you a quick lesson quick quick lesson here when i say okay. we gotta go and don't worry about it we gotta don't go. worry about it and we gotta go. He just starts moving quickly. Yeah, yeah YouTube's YouTube's following. Um, I guess can I take a look back real quick? Do I see anything? You see eye shining in the darkness <laughs> as you fucking go from the shadows. Uh, yeah, YouTube starts going faster now. Rich, I'm gonna cut your balls off, Rich. 
the voice is following haunting as rich quickly makes his way out of the basement to the nearest elevator just jams the closed door button yeah you two like slides in as it as it closes so is that lilith or is that someone else i don't i don't stop to check i never do I, it's, a, it's lesson number two don't don't confirm just leave okay so what did the other could it be any of the other wives what is happening okay i'm gonna tell you straight up i'm married to four different women yeah i got that based on what your stand can do and the fact you said she was wife three they don't know about each other yep that's kind of what i also figured because that just feels like that's par for the course and i have a thing for crazy dangerous women of course so the idea is because there's four of me and i can just replace me if i ever get you know too badly fucked up wasn't an issue i get my thrill and uh they get a nice place to live a couple kids maybe uh you know um, i pay off the college loans that sort of thing <laughs> but now i am reduced from god to mortal and so i'm a bit at risk i'll say that i i've i've kind of i've, I've painted myself into a bit of a corner here yeah Yep, that that's what this sounds like. That's cool. Okay, well then we've gotta we gotta keep you alive. No matter we what. do. You're uh, right, is, e and you can't die. And he goes, yeah, but it would still hurt, right? Oh yeah, a lot. Yeah, I've kind of died once already. I don't want to necessarily keep doing that. Speaking of which, you can command your clones to explode. Ha oh, okay. That's specific. How big of an explosion is it? Mm, pretty big. Is that what brought down the building? Or oh, that no. The that was the aliens, yeah. Okay. Okay, so there, it's a big explosion, but not building, not Babylon leveling. Um, Actually, I guess if all three exploded at the same time, it could be. Like in close proximity to one another. And four oh, would probably be a really big great. one, but you don't want to do that for obvious reasons. Yeah, no, I don't. I like being alive. Uh, once the elevator gets to the proper floor, the parking garage, one of your clones is, <laughs> I guess, trying to chase a floating bowling ball with a skeleton yeah. attached to it. You, you two will just go, oh, we found your bowling ball, by the way. And uh, I think your food's getting ready. They didn't see anybody. Great. With a bread beard. Wonderful. Let's quickly get into um, my vehicle, I guess. Wait, do you have a car? No, we were all kind of driving around in the one Lewis lent us. Oh, gross. Aren't you guys all out of college by now? Yeah, but I mean, th we had the taxi system and public transit. So. You were taking taxis? I mean, not all the time. There, lots of weird shit ha comes out of those. But Yeah, that's why nobody takes them. It's good in a pinch. Well, they're good in a pinch. How poor are you? I'm not. And you just kind of like, I mean, I'm not a CEO of you know elo yeah money. i can tell I, you know i i make good money i just there's never a reason to learn how to drive so he just kind of like puts an arm on your shoulder just be honest with me do you need like a loan or something no i mean i no i'm fine he kind of like picks at your your hoodie for a second and makes a face and then ugh, okay and then he he looks away but you can tell as he turns his head he's like looking sad and kind of shaking his head <laughs> like and full, of, just, full of pity. Yeah, I was gonna say, yeah, you two does his best to ignore it, and I think you five went to get the bowling ball. He's like looking at them running, and he's and you two goes, should I grab him? With, should all three of us go? Or nah, just leave him. He's gonna probably need to do that for a second. I wouldn't worry about it. Okay. You're capable, and so are you. Yeah. and you and you. <laughs> and he just goes, okay, yeah, and I guess he shares that he doesn't need himself. So he can go back to catching the bowling ball. Rich's uh, vehicle is a pretty, it, as he described it, a pretty nice silver vintage car. Vintage for the moon. Um, so it's like an older, almost like a sports car, it looks like. Nothing fancy, no big bells and whistles like you'd expect from a Lewis Clark model. He gets in, opens the passenger door, and a skeleton falls out. Oh, um, and he goes, I know that's pro it's probably gauche, but can we reuse that? Or is it just, is that done now? What do you mean? For like dog food or something? No, I meant to like, could I put another diamond in it? Oh, no. They're they're one and done. Yeah. Just go okay. ahead and just push that aside. Somebody will get it. Okay, yeah. And he starts to, like, move it. And he lets you five know that once he gets the bowling ball, there's a body that probably needs to get moved so that nobody loses their mind because there's a dead body. You know, I guess I'm making it out like, uh, I, like I live a pretty crazy life. Go ahead and put your seatbelt on, though, because we're probably, yeah, let's say he puts his seatbelt on. 
Yeah, he. you two also puts his seatbelt on. It's funny. I never even really think about this sort of thing. Seatbelts, I mean. But I'm more mortal than I've ever been. And I don't know how I, I don't know how you do it. It's, uh, this sucks. And you two just kind of like smiles and just goes, yeah, that's, I mean, it doesn't always suck, you know, but it's life. It's your life, not my life. I guess it is my life now. Your life is the good life. So take it from me. Uh, yeah, you two, you two's trying to simultaneously process four different things happening at the same time. Like if he doesn't, he seems to, it seems to be that if he doesn't focus, it just kind of starts to spread. He's just like, yeah, this is, a, you know what, you were right, actually, though. This is a lot to take in, keeping them all out and about. Does it get easier, or am I just... I just do a lot of drugs, mostly. Oh, great. Do you want some? No, I don't feel like that would actually help me right now. No, it's too bad. I know a guy at the hospital, Dr. Feelgood. He's pretty good about getting me what I need. And he goes, actually, I've, I've met him, too. Oh. That was a fun day yeah nice guy a little bit high strung as he says that he something. peels off at max speed <laughs> you two will like immediately or is there like a, a handrail above the window oh yeah yeah or yeah you two's hand is just there rich isn't even looking ahead as he's driving either <laughs> yeah you know i met that guy a couple years ago just kind of seemed like a sketchy character but then he got me uh Got me the beehives, you know. Those are the good ones, really, because it's like you're just full of buzz, 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 buzz. Uh huh. Does this thing have an autopilot or? Nope. Oh, okay, cool. And you he's just staring ahead. He's just he's barreling down through the parking lot. Cars are stopping, like quickly veering away. Rich, hmm? I don't, I don't want to bother you, um, but you can very much die, and we are going way too fast for a parking garage. Mm -hmm. He slowly turns his head forward and then slams on the brakes right before you crash head on into another vehicle. <laughs> Whoops. Sorry. Not used to this. So you just hit people before? Like that was just that was just something you were cool with? Oh no, usually I'm driving with another clone and then the other clone watches the road and then I eat a sandwich or um, I've painted a picture before while driving. Or I take a nap. Okay, so it did have an autopilot is what you're saying. In a way. Seeing as I've never really taught a driving class before, but maybe let's let's keep our eyes on the road this time since we don't have your extra eyes. Hmm. All right. I'll try things your way. Why not? It's a new day and a new way to live. Is that is that good? Would that go good on a poster, do you think? Nah, it doesn't matter. He just, like, drives off. Uh, veering around the car he's still doing like 80 90 you two again is just pushed into his seat just gripping stuff as he goes around yeah turns there, and... <laughs> there's a thump on the roof did you and you you do like looks back and like what did did you hit something what the hell is that yes this woman slowly pushes her head down from the top of the windshield <laughs> rich rich she starts headbutting the windshield uh rich oh there she is Hey Lilith, how you doing? Hey Rich, hit the brakes real quick. Oh, I don't. Hit the brakes I don't think quick. I should. She's gonna get hurt. Rich, I think she, if she gets through that glass, we're gonna get hurt. Hmm. Sorry, dear. It's you or me. He like slams the brakes, and she does go flying right off the roof, screeching, ah! <laughs> flailing her arms. Mm. Is she? Does she have? You know? And he just kind of like does like a general motion towards his head, like a stand or. Mm any kind of weird no. thing we should know about no she's just crazy is she moving no rich is just stay just idling there with the headlights on her though you think i should uh, uh check to make sure she's okay you know let me do that because i can always come back you can that was a trick <laughs> that was a trick question don't do it you too yeah you too will and you two just kind of like stare is like his thumb is on the the seatbelt and he's just like i mean are you sure if she's dead like that's that's not good like she's one of your wives that doesn't look good if you killed her all right lesson number three even by accident like that lesson number three lilith always pretending see i had to test you on that one just wait just stares at her motionless body she's gonna get up any second i mean again if i go out there and she i don't know murders me there's three other me's right do you really want to die by nunchuck? Why does she? No, I don't. Why does she have nunchucks? I don't know. Is that she... just? 
her preferred weapon? Yeah. 